Hey, y'all, let's put on some socks and let's go somewhere. If your life was recorded musically onto an album, what would your soundtrack be? What would be the opening song, the intro? What would be the preface that was started all off for you? Well, hold that thought. We'll get back to that. It's the year 1831, the month of November, in Hiram, Ohio, about 30 miles away from Kirtland, Ohio. Joseph and his family were staying at the John and Elsa Johnson house. Um, this was a place of um, quietness out in the country. Um, John and Elsa joined the church months earlier. Elsa had some problems with her arm, and actually Joseph Smith actually blessed and healed her. And because of that experience and others, John and Elsa joined the church. And they gave up a room in their house for Joseph to um, stay there with his family. And on the second floor, um, they would have meetings it was headquarters for the church at the time. Joseph Smith already received 60 revelations, and he thought it was fit to compile these revelations and put them in a book, which at the beginning, it was called the Book of Commandments. Now it's, we know it as the Doctrine and Covenants. Well, they all got together. They're in Harm, Ohio, at John Johnson's house. They're there on the second level in a small room. Um, Great group of men were together having a council, and uh, three really smart gentlemen, um, Oliver Cowdery, Sidney Rigdon, and William McLellan, all put their minds together and tried to write up a preface, an intro to this book. And uh, according to William, it was picked apart. They didn't like it. That had to be kind of disheartening, kind of. Hey, put all this time and effort into it, and it was all picked apart. But um, Brother Joseph Smith did what he did before. He went to the Lord, because it was the Lord's book, the Doctrine and Covenants, the Book of Commandments at the time. It was the Lord's book. Joe Smith went to the Lord, and he received revelation in that room. As he was receiving revelation, Signe Rigdon wrote it down. And this is what we know today as Dark the Covenants, section one, the preface, the intro to the whole book, um, the framework to it all of Dark the Covenants. How brave and how courageous was Brother Joseph Smith? Him knowing that the Lord's church had to move forward, that these revelations had to be published, and that missionaries had to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to all and you got to think here in Hiram, Ohio, Kirtland, you had a lot of these employers who were losing some of their people to go on missions. And that had to be somewhat tough to the, um, the employers and these jobs and the communities. And again, they just, people didn't like this new word, this Book of Mormon, this, this prophet, Brother Joseph Smith. Four months later, in Hiram, Ohio, as he's staying there at John Johnson house, middle of the night, um, a mob of people stormed in. It took about four guys actually to get Joseph out. He was a strong, mighty man. They tarred and feathered him and actually tried to kill him. They wasn't successful. How terrible. Doing the Lord's work, moving forward with it, and bam, you're tarred and feathered. Joseph was bruised up. Uh, beat up really bad, ended up losing one of his adopted twin kids, all this big tragedy in his life. I wasn't there, but I do know studying in LDS church history that it wasn't Joseph's first time being persecuted, and it wasn't his last time being persecuted. Liberty Jail, Nauvoo, all that still ha haven't even happened to him. You know, him escaping Liberty Jail and going to Quincy and um, – building up Nauvoo, a lot of that ain't even happened yet. 
but brother, but brother Joseph Smith knew that the Lord's church had to move forward, that these revelations had to be compiled into a book, and that these brethren got together, and they all tried to write a preface, but it wasn't until Brother Joseph Smith went to the Lord, the Lord revealed to him. So here we are in 2021, learning and studying the Come Follow Me Doctrine Covenants and LDS Church History. And to begin it all off, it's Dr. Covenant Section 1, the preface, the intro, the beginning and framework of what we'll be learning this year in Come Follow Me. And what is the first word, the opening riff, the intro to it all? Hearken. President Nelson said, the very first word in the Doctrine and Covenants is hearken. It means to listen with intent, to obey. To hearken means to hear him, to hear what the Savior says, and what to heed his counsel. So I always try to liken the scriptures into myself as what Nephi taught in the Book of Mormon. It's a great way to remember and a great way to apply the principles that we are learning in the scriptures. So as we enter into 2021, Doctrine and Covenants section one is to preface the intro, the opening to the Lord's book, the Doctrine and Covenants. To go back to my first thought, if my life was recorded musically onto an album, the sound, my soundtrack, what would be my first song? What would be the preface, the opening riff, the intro to my album? As I love to study LDS church history, especially Dr. Covenant section one, learning that this is the preface and intro to the Lord's book, Doctrine and Covenants. It's made me think, what should my preface be? What should be my intro? What should be the beginning song to my soundtrack? I'm reminded of an old gospel Southern tune written by Fanny Crosby. Um, called Blessed Assurance, and the chorus is, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. So, what is your preface? What is your intro? What is the opening song for you for the year of 2021? Mm -hmm. 